Welcome on back, Cloud City, to another episode on Final Fantasy 16. Picking up where we left off, we uh, went ahead and traveled, uh, fast traveled back to uh, the Delamil Inn. We are making our way for Drake's Fang. I did run around, and the only thing different was a uh, letter at um in clive's office said something about it was from luber or luber he said something about maybe have a fruitful relationship blah 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 blah, blah because oh times God, are trying and my test was to make sure that you know we got your trust or whatnot or that we, you were in my trust but yada yada Past that, there is nothing really of note at the hideaway. So let's head on this way. Maybe we're gonna. I mean, we're gonna be here. We might as well destroy Drake's Fang. Just gonna throw that out there. The jaw. Inside. Along with goodness knows how many guards, all on highest alert, you'll need to keep your wits about you if you're to reach him. So be careful. I will, Uncle. Before you go, Clive, allow me to apologize. After what befell at Phoenix Gate, and the crisis that followed in its wake, I fled. I retreated to my counting house and danced attendance upon the Vicerine in the hope it would bring me favor. I betrayed my nation to save my skin, like the coward I am. And I'm sorry. Uncle, please. It's not too late, Clive. Rosaria is yours by right, and there are those that would help you to take it back. Had I the courage of my brother, I might already have done so. But that ship has sailed. You, however. No. Forgive me, but I cannot. I fight. To build a new world now. A better world. Where men can live and die on their own terms. I was raised in a nation that strove to improve the plight of bearers. Later did I realize that spark of freedom did not arise by chance, but was kindled by my father. You would see me follow in his footsteps. And that is exactly what I mean to do. Not by ruling Rosaria, but by extending his ideals to the whole of the twins. Though every soul in the realm may judge my actions heresy, I am certain my cause is just. You really are just like him, you know? Thank you, Clive, for coming back to me. I am proud to call you nephew.
Well then, this is where we must part ways. Wish me luck in convincing my Canvarian friend to share his considerable talents. I mean to plunder his coffers and prove myself worthy of a place in your merry band. <laughs> Till then, my boy. Till then. Go safely, uncle. And you, nephew. We have much to catch up on, you and I. I should expect you to regale me with the tales of all your adventures when next we meet. <laughs> you can regale me too, Togo. <laughs> oh, but yeah. Kind of surprising that we're going like setting out on our own for this like no backup no nothing that's what's kind of telling me that something's gonna happen something bad like dude if we lose torgal i quit i'm done if torgal dies I, I'm, I'm i'm so done shan't hurt you any longer <laughs> he sought to humiliate me me if you hadn't interfered he would be dead you truly believe you would have triumphed the battle continued titan would have ground him into dust and how would he have done that without his head shut up you weren't strong enough and you call yourself a dominant. Or rather, you did. You mock me, Harbert. Do you see, Hugo? You are weak. Fuck! But so long as that fire burns within you, there is still hope. There may yet be a way for you to take your revenge. Tell me, what must I do? Please, I'll do anything. Just tell me. Mother Crystal's heart is the most concentrated source of ether in all creation. Perhaps you could take advantage of that. Of course, the crystal would not yield her blessing to any ordinary man. But then, you are no ordinary man, are you, Hugo? Clive Rossfield stole your power. But others have suffered a similar fate, and still manage to find the strength to conjure their icon. Like Benedicta Harmon. She too drank of the ether and gained a power beyond human understanding. I'll do it. My love. I'll avenge 
wants you. Run along now. I have a very bad feeling about this. Muthos is here. Very well, it shall be so. How the fuck does he know? You may leave everything to me, your majesty. Oh, that's how he knew. What the fuck? What the fuck is this thing? Bring them from ash. Into the darkness. Are the beast men part of the Wanunda army now? How the hell did that happen? Why are we crouched? Let's say, are we not, are we not fighting them or what? Open up. Go right about here and go ahead and hit him with the boop bop. Maybe hit him with this too. Fucked up, didn't they? <laughs> Let 
Me and my best friend. Exploring dungeons until the end. I do really wish for like a map. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh me my best friend. Clive, you, you're not the real real main character here, it's Torgal. Torgal's the main character. Something big's behind me. I just don't. Oh my god. Just bring them all to it. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. <laughs> I think you're all over here. Attack that. Let me attack that. Thank you. Oh, he must have had one HP. <laughs> Level thirty two. Let's go. <laughs> oh, what do we want to do with our points? Uh, no, the ignition of Scarlet Cyclone Rising Flames. I do use Flames of Rebirth a lot. Same thing with Aerial Bless, same thing with Thunder or Judgment Bolt. Uh, I could save up for Earth and Fury. At the same time, I want to upgrade the stuff I use a lot. Let's upgrade Gouge. Heat waves already maxed. Flames of Rebirth isn't. I could Master Gouge. I don't. I still don't know if I like Lightning Rod more than Pile Driver. I mean, it's helped me quite a bit, and I like mixing up Lightning Rod with Gouge. But yeah, let's go ahead and master gouge, and then I think the next one we'll work on is lightning rod. <laughs> I'm just looking for loot. I know, I mean, I know I saw there was a lever over here, but I was looking for loot. Well, wow, I already pulled that lever. Oh, this side. Okay. I thought that was... I was like, did I get turned around? <laughs> As I slowly start dying. There we go.
Won't be going any further this way. No, yeah, no, just look and see if there's, there's like anything else, you know. See how good upgraded gouge is. Okay, that's pretty good. It was very fast. Here, Torval. Fetch. Big guy. Mini boss number one. Oh, hello. this one. How did it get in here? That stun damage. Holy shit, dude. Almost, oh my god. Gouge comes back so quick now. Dude, he didn't stand a chance. <laughs> Holy shit. He stood no chances. Oh my god. You got fucked, buddy. You got fucked. Friend, here to kill Hugo. Kuka never did do things by halves. As if taking the mother crystal to his own wasn't enough. He had to build his castle in it. So, I am kind of curious. Let's see. 100 bullet. Oh, dude. Only 100 will be refunded? That's junk. It's not much. Probably what, 120? Yeah. What do we have? We're 25. Oof. Let's see if we can tackle it in five minutes. If 
5 to 15 minutes, give or take. If not, we'll be starting or uh, wrapping in the middle of a cutscene or something. <laughs> Let the trial begin. Well, hello. What the hell? Okay, so I can't counter that. Stagger damage is fucking nuts. Fuck him up! The Undertaker vanquished. 350 XP, 170 ability points. Oh yeah. Increases thunderstorm damage by 10%, that's nuts. Take a boss gauntlet. We just killed one boss and now. Killed the second boss. So this is the power of Muthos. What the fuck? I want more backstory to the myth the Mythos. The I want more lore to that. Okay, but you know what this means? This is a perfect place to wrap up. So stay tuned. We'll have more Final Fantasy 16 coming your guys' way.